wild side. Of course, with Vent. What's going on, guys? Hey, what's up? How you doing? So how long have you guys been playing together? you got to get close to the mics so they can hear you uh, out there. Collectively, as a group, with all four of us here, coming up on a year now. How's it been? Been uh, an exciting ride so far. I mean, we've, we've actually got to play with uh, some bands that we grew up listening to, Suicidal Tendencies and the Spud Monsters and all that. So it was actually pretty nice. Cool. Do you ever, uh, MOD, I wish, I don't know, MOD, I wanted to see them when they were in town, but they're no longer together. Uh, yeah, big influences of mine. Uh, yeah. I, yeah, uh, <laughs> SOD and MOD. SOD, MOD. I've actually met Billy Milano uh, at a Spud Monster show at uh, the Old Flashes, right before the Spud Monsters did their world tour with MOD. That was a good experience. Yeah, I've seen them at Variety Theater on the west side of Cleveland, the of Spud Monsters. <laughs> was that the Motorhead show? Yes, the Motorhead show. I was, yes. I was there. You know the haunted houses that were built there at Variety Theater? Yeah. I'm the one that built them. No kidding. <laughs> yes. We had a, we had a, actually, the guy that they, was, that they had uh, trying to sing for them before me actually worked there at those, at those theaters. You're when kidding. It was, when it was the haunted house. Who, yeah, was who, the, what was his name? His name Mark? was Mark. Cassidy. Cassidy. Oh, I remember. <laughs> yes, he yes like, I do. I remember. looked like Dave Mustaine back then. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> What a small world, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we did a show, a Halloween show, and one of the guys from Variety, he's now a ghost chaser. We were talking about Variety Days and stuff like that, and he was telling me how the stuff I told him in makeup and artistry, how it still in his life he's still doing the stuff. Well, I still do it, but not as much. I would never. I'm into this now, so I can care less about the old style and stuff. We like this more. Yeah, this I is like it. <laughs> That's just me. What's the worst thing ever happened on stage? Each one oh, of you. Shit. Uh, we about okay, well here, yeah. <laughs> for, for me, uh, this here is is new for me. This is actually the first band that he I've was ever, ever we got him. done, and nothing ever made it out of the basement, attic, or garage. Worst thing is when we play the suicidal show. We have a song that we'll be doing, uh, "Dining on the Bullet." Like I said, it, it ends abruptly, and it was like crickets. There was nothing except for the chatter at the back of the bar, and it's like. Wow, uh, wow, <laughs> that was it. Yeah, you know, when, when you're staring to a when you're staring to a uh, a full audience and everybody's just standing there looking at you like, wow, the song's <laughs> over. You can clap. It, it, it kind of scares you a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, oh shit, did we just it yeah, just completely it, bomb? Yeah, it shook us for the rest of the show. We were yeah. we we're like, oh fuck, you know, it was pretty. Bad. You got to get close to the mic. Dude. That's that's uh, the only trouble. I wish I wish I could put one of the mics down here and pick up the whole room, but the feedback would be immense. Yes. We tried it. We yeah, tried we don't it. want that. Be like, wow. We get enough from him. Uh, <laughs> go ahead, Mike. Your worst, your worst experience. My worst? Uh, too many. Um, <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're talking about Next. band experiences, not just life experiences, buddy. Uh, I don't know. My worst experience probably wasn't even with this band, just having somebody step on my cord, rip half my guitar out of the guitar, and dropping it on the stage, half shattering it, but... Uh, yeah, Ryan. Ryan was there for that one. With this band, it's mostly just stuff that I know I screw up, and it just haunts me because I screwed up to the point where it just haunts me the rest of the show, and nobody in the crowd notices. But I know what I know what happened, so it's still bad. Don't forget to call studio at area code four four zero three one nine six two six four or out of state one eight hundred five five five. Five zero one five. Talk to the band. You know what else would have been a bad experience today? If I didn't have a power cord or another connection yeah. for your guitar. Yeah, this is, this is bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not yeah, not bringing my cord to plug in and my guitar cord going bad. <laughs> if I could add a little bit to this, we we have recently done a show where we were about forty five minutes from go time, and we were all tuning and everybody was looking around and and he realized. Oh man, yeah, that, I don't have that, anything that, I need. That would be a nightmare. That would be like my probably one of my nightmare experiences. I normally bring two guitars to a show. My backup guitar has a bigger case. I put my noise pedals, my chords, everything in my backup case. I'm like, eh, no, it's a smaller show. I'm just gonna bring one guitar, no backup guitar. Left my backup guitar, and I get to the show, and we're like. Oh, shit. Yeah, all my stuff's in my backup case, so I got to go from Lakewood to Parma Heights, back to Lakewood in like 40 minutes, and 
I'm I'm pulling up, unloading my backup guitar as everybody else is setting up on stage. So we did it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we got there. We did it. But I mean, yeah, we it was. It. We broke every law imaginable. If yeah. uh, laws uh, laws listening, shh. <laughs> <laughs> My worst experience was we kind of changed up one of our songs where we do more backing vocals and we just played a show at the Maple Grove and it was the first time we did that song live and I practiced all week like my lines and I get up there and I just drew a blank. So I uh, I mush mouthed them through fast. <laughs> I just uh, ran through them real quick and I'm like, okay, nobody noticed until we watched the video and it was taped and we're like, oh. I could just, you know, it was bad. I'm like, God, this is no good. But nobody noticed. There were like nine people there anyhow, so it was, it was okay. They were all drunk. And we sounded good. And we're not a death metal band that sings like, rah, 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 so you can't make out what we say. So you can actually understand what we say when we sing, so that kind of. So we knew what he, what he must have. Yeah, it was bad. When I think of tragedies, so, see, every time I hear about different things, one thing, I don't know why it just clicked me now, that when I was doing DJ for weddings, there was this huge guy who did all these weddings. He's just, oh, everybody wanted this guy as his DJ because he was incredible. And I was running my show, and nobody, everybody was in my room. They didn't go in where he was at. And I couldn't figure out why. Well, he come in like 20 minutes later. He goes, dude, you're taking my crowd. He said, I just fired up. I'm like, yeah. He says, you're taking my crowd. You're playing all the good music right away. I says, yeah, so? Well, he leaves the room, comes back in. He says, man, do you got an extra amplifier? I said, what do you mean? He goes, I just blew my amplifier out. I'm like, sorry, dude. <laughs> Fresh out. Hey, I just took your crowd, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, the people at the wedding were pissed because all these people are just showing up and dancing. They didn't even know who the hell they were. <laughs> I should have got some extra money for that one. So how long have you been playing bass guitar? Uh, on and off ooh, since about uh, 1988, 89. Uh, you know, I played guitar and bass and guitar and just uh, I quit for a while. You know, there was really no good bands that, you know, I was playing with and I played with a couple other bands that did nothing. And, uh, you know, I got with Miguel and Mike uh, you know, over a year ago, and, you know, we tried to get together and work on some stuff, and then, you know, it didn't work out, and then all of a sudden, you know, I get a, a message on Facebook, and they're like, hey, you still want to do the band thing? We've got a drummer. Let's do it. You know, my message was, I'm in, but if we're doing this, we're doing it. You know? And he missed the first practice. And then he missed the first missed practice. The first practice. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> well, yeah. How many different styles of music have you gone through? Have you always stay, stayed the same or changed? Um, I have always done the same style. You know, I grew up listening to, you know, Cleveland hardcore punk, you know, more, more of the harder, you know, metal, uh, you know, from Slayer to Anthrax to, you know, you know, big on Cleveland local bands, you know. <laughs> you know, in, Integrity, Ringworm, you know, At No End, just a lot of, you know, the good local bands that I grew up listening to. You know At No End? Uh, uh, yeah. We, uh, me and uh, yeah, my family is very good friends with At No End. Um, actually, so, so uh, good that his daughter is the girl yeah, on the cover of their new album. Really? If you've seen the Urban Holocaust. The Urban Holocaust yeah. album, that's his Holy daughter. God. My daughter is on the cover. My wife did all the photography. And um, Mike did the layout. And I did all the CD layout. All the, the the digital editing and everything. For that's it. a small world too. Um, I have uh, an uncle who stopped playing in a band like two or three years ago. But every time I'd go up in band practice for like the four years he was in this band, they were in the practice hallway right down from us, and I would go hang out with them all the time. Yeah, the, the guys in At No End are are awesome, yeah, and they're they're, they're the same as we are. We all grew up. Um, they're actually older than us, which I can say yes. <laughs> but uh. Yeah, they're all very cool guys, and we are just like very into the local scene and everything. So we've played a couple shows with them. We're playing uh, December seventeenth with them, uh, Foose, the Gluttons, Crossface. You know, we're and hung out with Crossface too. We've we've yeah. played them a couple. <laughs> we played, we played them, them a couple times. Couple times too. Actually, at the Spud show, we we played with them, and uh, 
you know, we've talked to, you know, a lot of the local bands that we've played with and trying to get, you know, the local scene back where you've got, you know, the bands are working together, you know, getting shows together, helping promote each other, not, yeah. you know, bands where they were bad-mouthing each other and putting each other down yeah. just to... To get back, ahead, you know, we're back to the days where there's a line halfway through the parking lot at Flashes waiting for the door to open. It's funny. I knew this. Everybody gonna... was friends back in those days. Hey, come on, you want to play with me? Hey, come on, you want to play with me? And we all did it. It, it, it has been gone for so long, and now we're bringing it back, and it, it's good. We, we, it feels we, yeah, that's good. one. That's one thing too that I seen. This is last year, years before that. Is bands would go in, a band would play, then they would leave not support the other bands. It seems like the bands aren't supporting the other bands. And of course, somebody's wife wants to hear some music instead of us talk. But this is a talk session right now. The you rest of the night is all music yeah, after this. Right, whichever wife you are, you wait. That's Damn. probably that's Stand probably my Muggles. wife. Muggles wife. That's, yeah, that's my wife. Uh, zip it. <laughs> one of the Debs. You be quiet or we're going to come home and beat you. Whichever one you are, we're that's, all going to take turns. That's my wife. All right, we're beating you. Cam yeah. wants to know how your ribs are. Oh, yeah, fine. I'm doing just well. See, you know, if I drink a lot of beer, yeah, we're good. <laughs> next, next time, Tam, don't hit him in the ribs. My wife beats me. For everybody that's watching, I, I have broken ribs because my wife is abusive. Yeah, Shannon, Shannon says, I don't want to hear the chatter, just, just music. <laughs> we'll get there. You got to know about the band. There's new people out there want to know about the band and the music scene. Okay, guitarist, how long have you been playing? Uh, I started playing guitar in the late 80s. Uh, knew this guy back when actually he started, he got guitars and all that for Christmas. Started playing guitar. My fingers have a mind of their own. They don't want to cooperate, yeah. so I gave it up. <laughs> first, first band I actually jammed with was uh, with him playing drums. So, uh, and that's when we were probably 16, 17. Hair metal. Teenage. Oh, hair yeah. metal, back, wow. back in the hair metal days. It was a boy group. So we, yeah, I started out, and I pretty much stuck with the guitar except for a uh, little bit. I play, I switched to bass because we had <laughs> another guitar player in our band, and couldn't find a bass player, so I switched to bass for a while. Went back to guitar, and I've been a guitar player ever since. Played in a a band six or seven years ago with uh, Sully over here. Played uh, just about every club in Cleveland and Akron, and then uh, that band kind of fizzled out. I kind of gave up on music for a while, stuck with playing guitar, and just gave up on the whole band thing. Uh, me and Mig started working on vocals and guitar again. I worked with my wife, Blood Doll, doing photography for just about every band in Cleveland at one point. Uh, I think that's what's helped us out. With that's all where I know. You. That's where I know you from. Yeah, down at Peabody's. Uh, yeah. Blood Doll. When Blood I was doll. down there, Blood Doll is my wife. So okay. That's I'm her I personal starting. bitch. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's. I want to get. Yes. Per, I want to get business. That's started. true. Blood Doll's bitch. So. <laughs> but uh, I, we go to Pittsburgh. We've done bands from like. She's Detroit, our personal West photographer. Virginia, so. Yeah, she's our our personal photographer, um, and. The connections I've made doing photography, knowing club owners and knowing bands, has kind of helped us a little bit. That only gets a you lot. so far. <laughs> yeah, that only gets you so far. If you can't play, you're still yeah, going to yeah, suck, yeah, and no one's going to want you to come back. <laughs> if you stink, you're like, nah, don't come back. Yeah, me and me and Miguel worked on some stuff for a long time. Me and Ryan worked on a band just before we got back together with the the four that are us. Me and Ryan got back together, started jamming with another singer, another guitar player. And uh, yeah, me and me and Sully probably about two years ago, and uh, the other singer was kind of flaky, and the other guitar player was really hey, flaky. Watching. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, he's probably not allowed to watch anything on the internet because there's adult in adult material on there. But uh, but <clears throat> and then yeah, they flaked out. I'm like, look, Miguel, and my wife really pushed. It's like you got to get Miguel over there. You got to get Miguel over there. We even tried to get him involved in the other project with the other singer. And uh, it just got to the point where it was like, okay, look, it's me and Ryan. We're working on just ideas, and we want you to come over try to sing to him. He's like, all right, fine, I'll do it. He they comes over. Me. They got me. He comes over. Brad comes over, and this is where we are. 
it just blew up within like two days. We're like, yeah, this is it. We're writing songs. We're playing complete songs beginning to end by our <laughs> end of our second <laughs> practice. Never happened before with any band I was ever in. So Shannon's getting bored with all the talk. But see, you can call Too the bad. studio at area code four four zero three one nine. Six two six four or out of state one eight hundred five 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 zero one five. Put your input. See if you can't remember the number, it does scroll by right above where you're watching the video at. <laughs> hey Shannon, where you at? I'll I'll find one to look at you. I'm gonna look at you right in your eyes. Pay, pay attention. What we have to say is good, so zip it. Who's who's <laughs> Shannon Z? I have no idea. We have oh, okay. No idea. <laughs> She's just trying to vent. Evil says that uh, he's, um, or, wait, Blood View is his mom? I think that's oh, what he said earlier. Blood Doll, that's, that's, that's Alex. Doll, that, oh, that evil, evil would probably evil. be that's Evil Alex. Alex, my daughter. That's that's the one that's on the Yet No She's the one on the Yet No Dad's so gross. <laughs> <laughs> Dad's, Dad's gross. Dad's gross. Dad's gross. <clears throat> All right, babes, come on. Okay, the wives are great. Now music. <laughs> that's what they put in music. <laughs> We're, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Like you See, said, uh, you know, uh, just kind of continue on, just real quick. I, you know, I started off playing drums, and you know, after a course of so long a time, they're like, "Hey, uh, why don't you try singing?" I think it's because I sucked as a drummer, and I'm not very much. He didn't better. suck as a drummer, by the way. I'm not very much better as a singer, but his drum, his drum is still better. sitting in my basement. So, <laughs> but uh, they got a s song that I had wrote and kind of put on a little karaoke machine and they took it and they put it here listen to this we got a little guitar added to it and uh, come on in and check this out look what we did for you here's the story we wooed we wooed him all right um we had actually he had recorded and he, and he voice records everything that he does you know just you know for like a mental log and we got one of his tapes and we played to one of his tapes we was like all right we're gonna get this guy here well, I was just recording, yeah. I was recording and mixing, and we were like, we're going to get this guy here. So what we did is we actually took one of his songs, recorded it, played it, mixed it down from uh, an old tape, you know, just a the little tape, all the fuzzy and nasty, yeah. And, and we was like, all right, here, look. Dude, this is how serious we are. Listen to this, you know. Come on, please play with us. And th this, <laughs> is, this is how serious we are. It's not even one of the songs yeah, we even play. We don't even play that song. <laughs> So go figure. I asked the drummer, didn't I? How long you've been playing drums? Nope. Uh, no, you didn't. Okay. They uh, want music, so that's what I'm trying to do. Get this over right. with and get you back doing music, because they're they're getting aggravated. They're gonna say right. they'll at give least, you a cookie if you sing. So. At least they want to hear our music. <laughs> cookie for that, your cookie cool. hole. We oh, love wait, you guys. Wait, 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 dude. Does that mean we have to play the cookie? <laughs> <song? No. laughs> we love you guys. Just bear with us. We're yeah, I mean, we're doing an interview. We're kind of happy about it. We want to tell you guys about us. So just chill. We'll play music for you. Um, as far as me playing drums, I started off as a truck mechanic. <laughs> so now and I just still play a drums. Truck mechanic. I'm still a truck mechanic. <laughs> Evil says, Ryan, you're boring. Uh, <laughs> wow. Oh, you're All right, that's it. I'm leaving. Goodbye. You're fired. I'll tell you what. Oh, we're running what we're running a quick commercial break. We're right back with you, and they'll be playing music for you. They're right back with you playing and music. Now, and, and now we have blood. Yes. Oh, we got a phone caller. We ain't going to commercial Wait, break. Dude, where did that come from? What happened? Oh. Holy. Our Breath. singer is bleeding. Our singer's bleeding. I, no I, call? Okay. I just, cut my, I just cut my singer's finger open. <laughs> I'll tell you, we'll, run, we'll go to a commercial break right back with you. As the singer's bleeding to death, we'll be right back with you. Fuck these 